Welcome back to Identity. I'm here with Melissa Sandvig, and she's already won $5,000. Before the break, you locked in number nine was a Trekkie. For $10,000, if you're correct, let's find out if you are. Number nine, Trekkie. Is that your identity? Don't make that face. Live long and prosper. Live long. I am the Trekkie. Thank you, Congratulations, live long and prosper. Still have all your help? Thank you. You got $10,000. There are nine strangers and nine identities okay. left for $15,000. Okay. Which one do you want to solve next? Let's see. Uh, how about Ghost Hunter? What are you even looking for in a ghost hunter? What do you think I ghost hunters? No, I've never experienced any ghosts or any ghost hunters. Um, you know what? I, I, I mentioned number eight as the ghost hunter. Mm -hmm. And if he thinks he's James Bond. Crowd, like, crowd likes that. Crowd likes with the ghost hunter. I know, I know. Um, you know what? I, I can't see number five hunting ghosts. Number six, you want to do probably do it in that outfit. I'm guessing. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. The okay. eight is my ghost hunter, Mr. James Bond. Now, of all the things up there, there's nothing else. I, I he's got to be the only one up there. I'm thinking. He's got to be. So now you're he's sure. He's got to be. You're yes. Sure. Um, mostly. Okay, number eight. Please tell me that you were the ghost hunter. I'm going to lock that in, Mr. Bond. Number eight. Ghost Hunter, is that your identity? That is not my identity. <sighs> Shoot, that's not good. Now, <sighs> the bad news is, of course, he's, he's not a ghost hunter which is bad news for all of us. That is bad. But the good news is you're still in the game. Yes. And you still have two of your helps left. You can still ask the experts. You can still do a tri-identity. You okay. can still do all of that, Melissa, okay. but you can't miss again. If you miss again, then I'm you're going to go home with nothing. I got to play. Okay. Okay. play. OK. Which one do you want to solve? These are not easy. Um, ice skating teacher, I still think it, it, it's got to be probably five or two. Let's see. Uh, her way up at the top, number 12. My gut is saying number two is the ice skating teacher. But I don't want to, I don't, I need to do something here. I need to use my help. Um, so I'm going to do the tridentity, tri I believe. Now remember, when you've chosen a tri-identity, we will narrow it down to three at random, or that is to say, one that actually has that identity and two picked at random. So which identity up there would help you the most to have narrowed down to three? Ice skating teacher. Ice skating teacher! We're gonna narrow it down to three. I think I'm sure, but I'm not sure. All right, ice skating teacher. Let's see the three. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, you've got, uh, you didn't get the one you were going to go for, so I guess it's a pretty good idea you did the tri-identity. But you've got a woman and two men. Now, is ice skating teacher gender specific? No, it could be either. It absolutely could be either. Uh -huh. I, of course, am just leaning towards a woman. But, wow, that threw me for a loop. You're about to gamble 10 grand, or you can go home with it. Four, five, or eight. One of them is an ice skating teacher. Or you can ask your experts. Oh, gosh. I, I kind of feel like I should just go for it. Yes. Yes. Number five. Audience is Don't very happy. Yeah, number five. OK. I, I, I have to just go for it. Yes. Don't boo me. Number five, please, please be my ice skating teacher, please. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock it in. Woo! I don't know. 
two numbers exist, 15,000 or zero, Melissa, all resting on whether five is an ice skating teacher. You know, number uh, five, I am dying to know if you're an ice skating me teacher. Me too, me But too. I want to spend some time looking at you, so we'll find out right after this.